Well, to get ready for Thanksgiving meant trips to the store. And storekeepers knew that was coming, so they laid in a whole lot of supplies that people needed. One storekeeper in um, Greenfield, Massachusetts, advertised that he had an assortment of articles necessary for Thanksgiving, including rum, brandy, gin, molasses, loaf and brown sugars, teas, pepper, pimento, cinnamon, nutmegs, raisins, coffee, and chocolate. In 1838, Mary White of West Boylston recorded in her diary that she purchased four gallons and three pints of molasses, 30 pounds of sugar, 12 pounds of raisins, and three pounds of currants. And then a few days later, she recorded that she bought from a drover two turkeys and half a dozen chickens for the Thanksgiving table. With family there and family hungry, there was a lot of cooking to do. Women would get together in the family and spend marathon sessions preparing and baking pies with all the ingredients fresh and ready that time of year. And of course they made more pies than they could eat at Thanksgiving and indeed for weeks to come. And they filled every corner of the butteries and pantries and cupboards that they could with these pies. Harriet Beecher Stowe in her book Old Town Folk reminisced how they would even store some in a blanket chest in a cold northern bedchamber where the sun never shone and the pies would freeze solid and come out fresh and good with the violets of April.